today I have a little bit of a card share for you. I haven't had a heck of a lot of time to craft lately, but I have been trying to find time uh, at least every other day to craft, which has been just, it's been wonderful for my mental health. Uh, so I have a couple of cards to show you as well as the, um, the things that I use to make the cards. But first, I can't remember if I showed you already um, this... Uh, flip book that I got in exchange from Denise. I couldn't remember if I showed you or not. It was kind of sitting in my my drawer. I'm also preparing to do like uh, haul videos for you because I have all of my spring products. And it was kind of sitting in the drawer and I couldn't remember if I showed you or not. So I just thought that I would show you real quick either again, and I apologize if this is a repeat or just show you in general. I really love this beautiful paper here with the orange flowers and it says everything has beauty. And it was an envelope flip book and each little envelope has its own theme and has some cute little goodies inside that I can use for future crafting. And also one of the things that I do with these kind of exchanges is that I will salvage the little, you know, little tidbits here and there um, from these projects and kind of reuse them. I totally believe in in reusing stuff. So thank you, Denise, and she did send along a couple of goodies with that as well. These are kind of like enamel stickers, which are really cool. They're actually, they're kind of heavy. And these are just some paper or fabric Prima flowers, as that says. Okay, so that is somebody else's project. So let's go ahead and jump right into the card share. I've been kind of trying my hand at making the the tall slimline cards and if you um follow me on instagram you've already seen these cards and i do apologize for the repeat um this card here it's taller than your you know traditional a2 size card uh, this one I made using the Summer Cuddly Critters stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This was from their summer release last year. It continues to be one of my favorite sets of all time, one of my favorite sets. I'm uh, cats and rabbits. <laughs> Bunnies and kitties are, are my thing. So, And then, of course, the kitty mermaid is pretty much the reason why I picked up the set. But the doggy in the flamingo floaty is pretty cute as well. And then the sentiment here is in this lovely scripty is per maid kisses and starfish wishes. Love it. Absolutely love it. And, of course, I have the coordinating dies to go with that. So um, I did some inking some distress oxide inking on the background i made this sort of double layer of water here using distress oxide inks and flick on a little water um, i used my lawn fawn stitched uh, waves and also hills uh, to kind of make some some scene pieces this is colored with uh, tombow markers on bristol smooth watercolor paper or bristol smooth paper not watercolor paper bristol smooth cardstock um, cut out and then I use some of those clear gems that we got from Hero Arts like from a kit last year or the year before I'm still using them. I love them um, This is the this beach right here. The background is from the Hero Arts sand embossing powder um, and then I had I Wanted to do like a like sand, but I wanted it to be a little bit darker for the ocean floor because you know the the floor of a body of water looks darker because it's further away from the light um and i had a bottle of this embossing powder the sand embossing powder that was almost empty and i had purchased a replacement bottle already so i had a backup but i thought i would try experimenting taking the what was left in the little bottle and again it was just a tiny little bit and darkening it up and then shaking it and seeing if i could get like just a darker quality to the sand and i think i added like some uh, silver and some of the uh, Stampin' Up! Copper in there just to kind of get a little bit of a darker darker sand tone on the bottom than the top here. And I kind of liked the way that that turned out. It's a little bit because I used more metallic powders. The bottom is a little bit more metallic than the top, but but that's okay. And I really liked it and um, I kind of mounted it on a little bit of foam here, some foam tape. I really love it. I'm still using that big roll of generic foam tape that I got from Amazon last year. So highly, highly recommend that, um, that big roll. It's a lot cheaper than the scotch. It's not quite as good quality wise when you're actually using it, but the, the stick is just great and it's really easy to use. So definitely worth the money if you're trying to, trying to cut back a little bit and go with some more generic products. So here is uh, the first slimline card. And the second one, I actually used two different stamp sets. Here's the card right here. 
just obviously I'm feeling summery <laughs> with my oceans and beaches. So um, I both used both Avery L products for this one. And the top part here, kind of the, um, the little changing stations at the beach and a couple of these little components here came from the Beside the Sea set from Avery L. And then of course the coordinating dies because I hate fussy cutting. And then another one of my very favorite sets of all time, <clears throat> excuse me, is from the Hello Chum set from Avery L. This great four by six stamp set here. It just, it cracks me up. They're smiley faces. And of course the coordinating dies. And I actually, um, Avery L came out with, like in the past year, came out with another small shark sack set. And I did buy that and you'll see that in my, my upcoming haul videos, <laughs> you'll be able to see that. So then I'll have, and it kind of looks like the art style, looks like it will fit in with this. So I just create, and I love combining stamp sets and things like that. And this, um, the combination of these stamp sets was completely by accident, but I really love the way that it turns out. And I kind of built the C. And again, the same thing, I actually made the backgrounds at the same time I worked on these cards at the same time. Um, the embossing powder for the sand and the floor, another, um, uh, Distress Oxide Inked Ocean here, background, just, I had a lot of fun making these. They're really bright, really fun. Um, I really love these. And I really liked the experience of making a slimline card. You don't have as much space um, to build your scene sideways, unless you put the card this way, and I haven't made any this way yet, but I, I do have plans to. Uh, so it just, it gives you a lot more options, especially if you enjoy making cards with scenes and I completely enjoy my scene cards as you know particularly ocean and <laughs> ocean themed cards and stuff so I really enjoyed making this this will not be the last that you'll see of my slimline cards and I did find and I showed it in the haul a while ago but I did pick up these envelopes um, at I think it was Hobby Lobby they're just like generic paper studio um, and I don't think these are the same size that uh, other people use for their slimline cards. I'm not entirely sure. I did try to research a little bit online and I said, you know what, forget it. I picked up whatever um, envelopes that I could to go with it and then I just built my card base uh, based on the dimensions of the envelope. So that's kind of the way that I did it and I actually wrote down um, the card is eight and a half inches by three and a half inches. So it's seven inches wide and then scored down the middle. So, so I wrote it right on the package so I wouldn't forget and I wouldn't have to re kind of figure it out later when I work on, <laughs> when I work on future cards. Okay. So those are the two slimline cards that I need. Let's get this aside. Uh, next I have been working with, um, a release from also from last year. This is how, you know, far behind I am with working on stuff. Um, this is a waffle flower set called batter. Um, really cute I actually think unfortunately it's being discontinued so if you are or, or retired if you're interested in this set definitely um sooner rather than later start looking into it and of course I have the coordinating dies um waffle flower kind of announced last year that they switched manufacturers for their dies so uh, it's the same great quality they still come already all you know you don't have to snip them apart they're already all individual pieces but they're a lot cheaper so this was definitely one of the more reasonably priced uh, die sets from them really fun set uh, my daughter used to play baseball but now that she's older they have the boys and their girls separated so she's on softball so everything I mean you can use it for softball too so you just you color the the ball um you color it like a bright yellow instead of <laughs> instead of white with red stripes and it's fine so I really like this set and I made a couple of cards uh with the cuties that I stamped out and colored in my downtime I have this card here um the background paper I'm trying to use up some stuff in my stash and in particular the bin that I keep my six by six paper in it's like overflowing so I'm really trying to focus on using some of my pattern papers so this is I think the bottom is for my favorite things and the top is a lawn fawn paper and I thought that the colors just kind of looked really nice together you can see the my favorite thing chevron that I use so I just basically used I just basically made a scene around the baseball diamond I took a square of this beige fabric and just twisted it to make it look like a diamond really cute and I don't think yeah I didn't stamp anything on the inside and again this is propped up with foam 
uh, two more cards, kind of the same thing, just using up more of those little characters. I made the background paper on these because I couldn't find anything in my stash that I liked that was kind of baseball themed. So basically I just took some different colored inks and I have a couple of different brands of inks. I have Lawn Fawn, I have Ranger, um, I have some of my favorite things. And I just took some different inks, different colors of inks and just stamped some of these components out and kind of made my own uh, background paper. I did some ink blending with um, oxide inks uh, and a little grass stencil here just to kind of get a little bit of a little pocket scene, a little scene here that made, you know, kind of a, a little pop of, of a scene. Put the characters on here, heat embossed a couple of different sentiments. I use birthday cards the most. So a lot of my cards are birthday themed and these are gonna be great to have in my stash. So that is that set, let me get more stuff aside. Next, I used the Unicorn Tales stamp set from Hello Bluebird. This is a fairly new company to me, um, and I find that they have really cute products, and I find that they're not quite as expensive as some of the other stamp sets, and you get kind of, you know, pretty much the same quality uh, and stuff, and I can't remember exactly what I paid for these, um, but I know that they were not, you know, normally your 4 by 6 stamp sets you expect to pay in the 15 to 17 dollar range and i think that these were a little bit less expensive than that and the same thing with the dies i thought were incredibly um, reasonably priced as well i think these were only like 10 or 11 dollars anyway <clears throat> so really cute set i stamped out the unicorns and a couple of other little things um colored them in my downtime and then i built two different cards with them here um, each card has two different unicorns on it with the hope your day is magical sentiment. Again, I'm thinking more like uh, birthday cards because, you know, I use so many of them. I used my Lawn Fawn stitched clouds to uh, cut out a bunch of cloud pieces and do some ink blending and sort of like a light bluish gray. Um, a light bluish gray background here. I don't know if you can see there's some stenciling, some cloud stenciling back here that I stenciled in some rays. And I, uh, sun, uh, I attached my little cuties here, uh, some sequins, which I believe are a Hero Arts product. And actually the background paper here is some uh, pink shimmer uh, cardstock that came from a recent Hero Arts kit that I wanted to use up. So, and I just thought that that looked really cute. These, I just, I love unicorns. <laughs> Obviously I like unicorns, so. Really cute, very glad to uh, have those. The next cards I have to show you are very unseasonal. I had actually stamped and die cut um, these little cuties from the Lawn Fawn costume party like back in August. And I had a pile of stuff that just got misplaced for a while uh, with all the craziness and busyness. So I recently found that I had uh, so just sitting very, you know, innocently here in this envelope. I had a bunch of these things already all die cut and colored. And I was like, sweet, I'm going to make some Halloween cards. I'm going to put this set away because I don't want to accidentally lose this set. I've actually purchased this twice now because the first time I purchased this one, I de-stashed it. And then I was like, oh, I need it again. So <laughs> anyway. So I made some fun little uh, Halloween cards. Here are all the little characters that I had die cut. Now this one, I was just I was just experimenting. I have this die, and actually you can probably see it a little bit better on the lighter card. I have this die in my stash, just this like, I don't know if it's unbranded. I don't know what brand it is. I think it was given to me in a swap or I picked it up like in a box of stuff at a yard sale a long time ago. And I've never had a use for it because I don't, I don't really like it. <laughs> But it, it it's kind of fabulous and it looked kind of spooky. So I die cut it in some gray cardstock and then I took some Distress Oxide ink and just kind of like did some inking over it to make it, make it look sort of like raw iron. And the same thing, I had a little bit of a fence. I don't know if, how well you can see it in the background. Uh, just a little bit of a fence that I cut from the same gray cardstock and did the same treatment with the Distress Oxide. I just kind of wanted to make it look spooky, like the kids were walking by a, a spooky place or whatever when they were out um, on Halloween. Uh, and then of course I did a lot of Distress Oxide blending. I used a grass stencil, and actually I have them right here. 
I can show you. Here's the cloud stencil that I used on the other cards. Here's the grass stencil, the My Favorite Things grass stencil. And I did some other kinds of stenciling, like in the background on this one. I don't know if you can tell because I very stupidly <laughs> put this big fence in the way, but I was kind of experimenting with making like dark, uh, darker clouds and a darker sky for night. And I used this My Favorite Things stencil, which is called Dreamy Nights, which is a really awesome stencil. And I kind of did that. And then on this one, for the background, I kind of wanted to make it look like they were walking past a forest. So I stenciled on, this is also a hero art stencil, and this is called Into the Woods. This is one of my favorite stencils. I stenciled on the top half because I just kind of wanted the trees and this little bit of, um, little bit of a path without all of the mushrooms and stuff because that and you know you're not really going to see them anyway I suppose it doesn't matter because I covered it with the fencing anyway so I kind of stenciled that on and then I took everything one step further once those backgrounds were done and to kind of make it a little bit more spooky and you really really can't tell <laughs> uh, just because of the way that the lighting is and that it's so really light in here I took my Versa marker and I took this stencil that I have from Carnabella and it has all these spooky like nighttime eyes on it. It's a Halloween stencil. It's called Spooky Eyes Stencil. And I took my, I, I laid the stencil down and then I took my Versa marker and colored in behind it and then I heat embossed over it with the uh, Wow Glow in the Dark embossing powder. I'm still trying to, I accidentally way over ordered my embossing powder, <laughs> glow in the dark embossing powder, so I'm trying to use it up. Anyway, so uh, you really can't tell, but there are several pairs of glow in the dark eyes in the backgrounds of these scenes. So I just thought that would be really fun and actually I need to take some photos of these um, in a dark room. <laughs> so that we can uh, we can kind of see how how cool that is but anyway <laughs> that is the uh lawn fawn costume party i did see there's a card that i i don't know if it was last year or the year before somebody made a, a great card um and they actually used pieces of real toilet paper that they had ripped up or cut up and kind of made it look like the kids were TPing a neighbor's house or something. I, I saved it on Pinterest and I'll have to see if I can find it because I wanted to um, wanted to try my hand at that card. <laughs> I think that would be a really fun use of this set kind of playing on the, uh, the toilet papering of the house. So the last two cards that I have to show you are using a small stamp set that was a fairly recent acquisition. This is from Sizzix. Um, it's just one of those small um stamp and die coordinating die sets it's not very expensive you know i think it was like 11 or 12 dollars for the whole set um obviously it's a kitty and it's a unicorn so i wanted to uh i wanted to play with that i had die cut and colored these on bristol smooth quite a while back um i decided to make the cards say i'd spend nine lives with you and that's heat embossed onto a galaxy background that I made with distress oxide purples and gray and pink and I really liked the way that that kind of turned out I die cut from my my uh, one and a half inch letter stamp set I die cut a couple from white and then from glitter paper just this love here I was thinking kind of like you know it would be like a great Valentine's Day card of course Valentine's Day is over but whatever they'll be here for next year but I used I found on my stash again the theme of trying to use stuff up um, from Miss Sparkling Company which is kind of like those dollar bins that they have at Joann's this pack of glitter and foil paper so I used the glitter paper from here and this is I actually didn't notice this so I would have been using it before this is that no shed glitter so it's like oh it's great like fantastic and it die cut beautifully and then for the um just sort of the matting around the cards I used some of the foil paper that was in here because I couldn't I couldn't really think of any other other use for it really I don't really use foil paper all that much but the the no shed glitter paper amazing so anyway so those are the cards that I came up with that and I just kind of embellished it a little bit with some of those half pearls from the ink road and I flicked on some distress stain and um, like some Copic white just to kind of make it pop a little bit and obviously some water drops. So here you go. That is it. Those are my cards to share with you today. I hope that you have enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or whatnot, leave them down below and uh, we will chat again later. Take care. Bye.